But uh, you know, let's let's move on to the next song. Yes. Uh, the next song I want to talk about is actually two songs um, by the same artist, and that is G Soul. The first song I want to talk about is "Where Do We Go From Here." Uh, G Soul is back. He is a I would say he's an R and B singer as well. Yeah, um, very specific. Yeah, kind of. his his style is very very specific. Mm. Um, I mean, I I kind of say that with all K like kind of R and B artists, but G Soul definitely has this very very noticeable sound. Yes, uh, his last song I think was You. Uh, that was his debut song. His debut I, song. I, I I think there was another one. There after might that. have been a song in between, uh, um, but he's more known for that debut song yeah. You. And um, he, he sings about breakups, this guy. His voice is perfect for this kind yeah. of emotional... Breakup you know. R&B songs, right? Yeah. Like, And this is just that. It's an R&B breakup song. And I think G-Soul really kind of benefits in that his voice really suits these kind of songs, like you said. Mm-hmm. And I, I really don't know why it is, but he kind of has this this timbre about his voice that sounds very like... Melancholy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It just sounds really like without any hope. And it's like if he did sing a more kind of like maybe a baby making R and B song, I'd be like, one, I'd be, what is this? Yeah, you know? yeah. Like his voice is very. He has to sing. He has to sing about break, this. breakup songs. Yeah, yeah. Um, and like the the this song. Yeah. Like. You know, he, I, you, I thought was was pretty good, right? Like, mm-hmm. I remember, you know, it, there was like this whole story. Like, he's in JYP, yeah, and he was a trainee for like a billion years, yeah, and like he finally, like, he is kind of an oldish guy, yeah, right? he's like, an older guy now. Um, and like he was like, in, and that first song, you has such like a powerful moment mm-hmm. in that song where it's just like, <laughs> right? He just belts it, yeah, he belts he, it, he yeah. belt it like a motherfucker. Um, this one is. Doesn't have that, right? Little, this one is more way chill. more low key, yeah, like low key. Like I'm still in pain, right? Yeah. We're not, we're not at the powerful stage yet. We're not yeah. at the strong phase yet. We're still in the. We're not at the it's break wrong. free. Yeah. yeah, like we just broke up. That's what it seems like. Because yeah. like the music video is like, it's like uh, split screen, and like on the left side is a, a long one shot take of him kind of just like, like walking, walking through around, the street, like, walking like through wandering the street. through the streets, yeah. kind of. Yeah. Which, which I mean, I've done. Uh, mm-hmm. After a, a big breakup before, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm sure you've done it in the past mm-hmm. too, right? Um, and but on the right side, it was like lots of scenes of like not like happy scenes with him and his girlfriend, but just like random, like random, random scenes. scenes of just like his kind girl, of the girl, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the the song itself, if you're not kind of into like breakup songs, you would totally just not like it. I think, yeah, um, because it is at times very airy mm. and very kind of soft but it never really kind of goes into the belt range yeah so you know it, it is hit or miss you really got to be in the that. mood i think for for this kind of song yeah, i can understand um, that right yeah um, um but that's the first song from g the second song is kind of like a sequel to this song mm-hmm. uh, it's called far far away Now this song uh, is totally different in style with the with where do we go from here? Totally where, different in style, yeah. same exact voice though. Yeah, it's it, it's really interesting. In where do we go from here? He has a very breakup voice, and the lyrics for far far away are very breakup oriented. Mm-hmm. But the the beat and this backing track is kind of like this reggae, like it's chilling very on an island, yeah, feeling. And the strange thing about it is that it works. Well, the lyrics are like it's still about breakup, but it's about yeah. the other side of the breakup. It's the yeah. getting over, getting yeah. over the breakup kind the next of thing. Step. Yeah. yeah, so it it makes more sense that it's more of a happier, right? The reggae sound is very associated with like yeah. either smoking a lot of weed or like yeah. being overall kind of jolly, relaxed, right? Yeah. And relaxed. Um, and the video it, like accentuates that like a hundred percent in like the weirdest it's way possible. So fucking weird. Um, so like, so the video is kind of like him on this like lo- lover's vacation, right? Yeah. So so me and Steven have this theory, right? The first song breaks up with his girlfriend, really raw, kind of yeah, wandering like through sad. the streets, 
what am I going to do next week? I have to go to the Bahamas. Yeah, like yeah, I already, I already time. planned this entire vacation, right? Yeah. She broke up with me right before the vacation. What yeah. am I going to do? And then far, far away, he takes his dog on the vacation instead. And he kind of his... apparently takes a lot of drugs. And him and his sidekick dog just... You know, eat Scooby Snacks all day. Yeah, kind of. Like, yeah. you know, you don't see any drugs because it's yeah. Korea, right? But, like, he, like, does... He is very intimate with his dog. I mean, he... He's okay. his dog everywhere. I mean, so, that, yeah. he's not... When he's not goes... It's a little creepy. It is a little bit strange. Um, but it's also kind of shot hilariously because I think the camera, or at least the, the person editing the music video, is very aware about how awkward the dog looks at certain times. So there's, like, so many of these, like, hilarious, like, close-up shots of the dog with, like, a bug-out eyes and, like, <laughs> oh, what's going on? And what takes it to another level is it's kind of, like, directed in this kind of home video VHS kind of way. Yeah. So it's kind of like a first-hand... Yeah, account like, of account this. Account of his breakup vacation with his dog yeah and it's just it's just kind of funny in a way it's, just it's ridiculous. funny it's also a little creepy, creepy. oh yeah um, also there's this rabbit caught this man in a well i don't know if it's a man but a like humanoid an easter, in a easter, easter bunny easter bunny costume yeah. costume that is there i don't know why um yeah. and it just seems like maybe the breakup like ruined him, and then he took a lot of drugs in his yeah. happy place, and like maybe things she, aren't really making any sense. But maybe she broke up with him because he was taking so much, so many drugs, or maybe she broke up with him because his god fucking awful hair. That's I think that it's it, it's I would break up with him for his hair. Okay, the you need awful. if you're an audio listener, which you probably are, yeah. you should definitely look up G Soul either video. Far and, away or where do we go from here? Yeah. Either video. Far, far away is probably better because it's in color. It's brighter, yeah, in color. Um, but it is the way. I don't even know how to describe the hair. It's like, so I don't know if you guys know what a two block is, but it's a two block. And then the top, he kind of corn rode, but like he probably paid someone who would never, never like did corn rows for hair before. And they're like, well, I'll like, try it. It's weird because like the whole point of cornrows is to like keep it neat keep it and neat clean. and clean and down, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's like they weaved it or whatever you call it, right? But then it still makes the same shape as his normal hair would make, which yeah. is like up and outwards, right? Yeah, to make it look like fucking just just sprouts coming out of his head. It's so bad. it's so bad. It's very reminiscent of like. You know, like, he's an older dude. Yeah. Right? Like, it really seemed like, oh, man, he saw this in, like, a video, like, in the 90s. Uh, right? And he was like, oh, shit, when I grow up, motherfuckers, I'm going to get that fucking haircut. <laughs> he's the forerunner for worst haircut of the year. It is awful. And we saw a lot of bad haircuts in the oh, selection of music videos. Yes. We're not talking about any other videos, but, like, what was up with the haircuts, man? I know, right? God damn. Good Lord. Good um, glavin'. But the songs, though, pretty good. Pretty good. I don't think I'm going to download either one. Uh, but I did like, I like the uh, non-reggae one more. Uh, uh, where do we go from here? Yeah, where do we go from here? Yeah. And I think you like the reggae one more, right? Uh, I, I do not? like it a little bit better, yeah. No. yeah. Um, you know, one's sad and one's happy, but you know. But they're both about breakups. They're both about breakups. Huh. 